in this video I'm going to give explanation for these two questions that is what exactly the operation cycle is and what is injecting fault or we can rephrase this as how to inject the fault all right so let me start with what is operation cycle it's very simple operation cycle for example um, you are turning on your ignition to on uh, your driving vehicle to 60 km per hour uh, you are getting some fault you fault occur so now the fault occurred right so you can you can consider the fault is some 2a 3c 3c and 4d this is a for dtc you got so this dtc occurred in the current operation cycle that is after you turn on the ignition this has been made so this is a call a current operation the operation cycle is a state is a state where the proper ignition happens that's okay all right so this is what the operation cycle is coming to for injecting fault or how to inject fault see uh, this 2a 3c 4d is being occurred automatically say for example it's a brake failure so as soon the driver is just 60 km per hour due to some hardware malfunction the brake failure 2a 3c 4d is been occurred so now how the car will behave or what is the backup plan or the software to handle the brake because if there's a brake failure so what should be the next case if it is a you know the olden days cars like it doesn't have more easy use if there's a brake failure that's it that's it the human lives will be in danger but nowadays we have advancements so if there is a brake failure also we'll have some plan b that is kind of a functional safety or uh, we have so many like uh, you know uh, active safety so we have so many technologies and advancements so they have different names but here coming to the reality if very simple the brake failures what will be the next so maybe if the car finds that brake failure has happened then the car starts maybe i'm just telling i'm not sure whether these kind of um, you know the logic has been in any cars or not, but I'm just telling my own logic like if the ECU found that the car has the brake failure then the software will start to slow down the vehicle uh, Towards uh, you know from 60 or 120 whatever it may be it starts it starts to gradually slow down and it will end up with some 20 km per hour to be a constant so that even though the brake failure if the driver is driving in a 20 km per hour so that he can go deep left or deep right depends on the region where he drives so at the end he is he is at least safer than going on a high speed with a brake failure all right so this is a logic i spoke or i addressed the logic so now how we will test this in the testing environment it's a question so how can you test definitely you can't create a you know brake failure on a hardware level as you are in a testing environment you will have a limited access to the hardware so now you have to inject this DTC inject this DTC means you are giving this even though the brake is the brake is fine but you are injecting you are telling you are fetching the ECU that this ECU has this DTC has to trigger so once this DTC triggered, even though the brake is working fine, uh, once this comes, then this will bypass this and all. This will only, the EC will only consider the DTC. If the DTC comes, then the next is, it will go to the 20 km per hour. So this have, you have to check. So for this, you have to injecting fault. So this injecting of fault can be uh, many. Like if in your project, if you have some 600 DTCs, you can trigger 600 DTCs or you can inject 600 DTCs and you can validate the behavior of the software. Alright, so 
that's all about this video and uh, we'll get back to you in the next video